and welcome back. The other day I did a story about NASA worried about bugs coming back from the moon to Earth. I got it all wrong. The story this week is about Earth sending bugs to the moon. This guy Nova Spivak sent his DNA, his favourite books, his CDs and a bunch of these little creepy crawlies from Earth to the moon. Who would have guessed? This is that story. It was set to make history as the first privately funded mission to the moon. And at less than 80 million pounds, it promised a future of affordable space flight. But hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Private mission to the moon? I thought the moon was like a place that NASA sent people or ESA or, you know, large countries. Who on earth sent a private spaceship to the moon and why? SpaceX, Blue Origin and Virgin Galactica are in a modern space race, all led by their CEOs. Enter Jeff Bezos, one of the richest men in the world. Bezos in a mission statement says he wants to send all manufacturing industry into space. Richard Branson British entrepreneur is also spending billions on building his own private space fleet. And when Elon Musk isn't building electric cars, he's actually running the world's largest space launch facility, SpaceX. NASA actually hire him to send stuff to the ISS. What is going on? In an era of shrinking government budgets, these entrepreneurs are now leading the roost. It seems space is for sale, and the only people with deep enough pockets are the giants of internet commerce. Should we trust these entrepreneurs to actually look after the realm of space? And in the news right now is this guy. It was his turn to dabble in space. But who exactly is Nova Spivak? I actually uh, am a serial entrepreneur. I, act I studied in the space industry and flew to the edge of space in 1999 and then started one of the first space tourism companies after that and then a bunch of internet companies. Uh, and then I started working on this idea of backing up human civilization so that it could never be lost. And in order to do that, we have to put some of those backups in space. Hang on, backing up human civilization? Ah, actually, we've done that before. If you remember the Voyager mission, we sent this gold-plated laser disc out into deep space for aliens to find and learn about us. But Nova has done something slightly more personal. He's wrapped up his favorite music, a few of his books, and his own DNA and crashed it on the moon along with these guys. Thousands of planet Earth's most indestructible animals. Tardigards, often called water bears, 
These are creatures under a millimetre long that can survive being heated to 150 degrees centigrade and frozen to almost absolute zero. Although the spacecraft actually crashed onto the moon, Nova Spivak believes that these creatures are almost certainly still alive. So next time you look at the moon, there might be thousands of moss piglets looking back at you. I just hope aliens don't find them and think they're the main inhabitants of planet Earth. Oh boy, what is going on? Please stop doing this. Let's have properly funded science expeditions to the moon and other planets and stop messing around in space. Thanks for watching, because the truth is out there.